I begin with the DMM set up as an ammeter. Let me show you how you can check the fuse, which is connected between these two terminals, the ammeter terminals. There is a 1.25 amp fuse. We'd like to make sure that that fuse is good. I'm connecting now the two red terminals together with the DMM probes. The reason this works is because the COM or common jack is shared between the ohmmeter and the ammeter. Therefore, connecting the two red jacks together amounts to using the ohmmeter to measure the, amp the resistance of the ammeter. Now, I expect that resistance to be quite low. I will use the 200 ohm range and then touch the DMM probes together in order to complete the connection between the ohmmeter and the ammeter. And I see resistance right around 1 ohm, and that indicates that we have a good fuse. Now I'm going to take just a quick time out here and remove the DMM fuse. It's a 1.25 amp fuse. And when I connect the ohmmeter to the ammeter, I get an open circuit condition. That would indicate a missing or blown fuse.